Hello, and thank you for tuning in. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Lisa's Lair. If this is your very first time watching a video on this channel, Lisa's Lair is a YouTube community for the older adults who are using the virtual world called Second Life. And I try to um, talk about different topics that impact the Second Life experience. You're welcome to leave comments about which topics you would like for me to talk about that are interesting to you. And my comment section is moderated. And so you will see your comment after I have an opportunity to review them. So please feel welcome to do that. And welcome to Lisa's Lair. The topic today is about the biggest trends in Second Life. I was asked by someone who had just joined about a month ago um, what the bigger cultures are in Second Life that I have um, encountered in the three years that I've been in Second Life. So I came up with the top 10 and I'm interested in hearing what your ideas are about that and what your reactions are to that. The top of the list of 10 is clubbing. I think that there um, happens to be a lot of sims um, with clubs with different themes and that attract different audiences. So I would put that at the top of the list. The second thing I would put at the top of the list, so number two out of 10 would be the sex commerce. I think that um, prostitution is very, very big in Second Life. I know other people probably would disagree, but I find that to be very, very big in Second Life. It certainly is not an underground culture. I think it is very visible and people are freely talking about it at The Sims um, that they are either paid um, as escorts or as dancers or as sex workers or as child sex workers or um, doing voice, um, voice sex in Second Life and just all these different types of things. So people are freely talking about it. It certainly isn't an underground um, type of thing from my opinion in the time that I've been in Second Life. Number three on my list of 10 would be cosplay. Um, I haven't participated in that, and but I think that it is very big and I hear about it a lot. Number four, um, I think um, people um, may not notice it, but I will put it under the category of gender switching. And that means people come into Second Life and they um, are functioning um, in one gender category um, out away from the keyboard and away from Second Life. But when they come into Second Life, they have chosen to gender switch. And so I would put that as four. I think particularly with the female avatars, it would probably not surprise me to uh, learn um, that maybe 40 or 50 percent of the female avatars are um, gender switching um, uh, scenarios where someone is not um, female uh, identifying as female gender away from the keyboard in their actual lives. Number five on the list of ten would probably be animal role play um, and that includes all kinds of animals um, and so I would say that that is number five. Um, number six, I would say, is the BDSM culture um, and all of its variations and all of its different levels. Um, I would put that all together as number six. I had never heard of that before until coming to Second Life. Number seven, I would say, seven out of ten would be the child avatar um, phenomenon. I think that um, child avatars are probably not um, seen um, in many of the Sims because it seems like child avatars have a specific community where they are um, typically in. I think people, um, some, a lot of people in Second Life tend to um, view the child avatar community um, with suspicion, um, particularly because um, there's just always been this perception um, that um, the whole child avatar um, world is drawing more and more um, pedos into um, the Second Life virtual space. 
who knows if there has been any research about that. I know there's been some um, some news exposés about um, the child avatar prostitution thing, um, but um, I, there really isn't a research to find out um, the percentages of the users of Second Life who are child avatars, and so I'm not quite sure. Um, just how um, common it is. Um, but a lot of people who do engage in child avatar uh, role play are saying that they're not part of the sex commerce industry in Second Life at all. And um, a lot of them are saying, you know, that they they don't perceive that being in a child avatar um, makes um, Second Life more appealing to pedos. So that is the other um, side of that conversation. Number eight on the list of 10 would be race role play. Um, there are a lot of, lot of people um, who come into Second Life and they decide that um, they're going to have um, a, an avatar that represents a race that um, they really aren't part of away from the keyboard. And sometimes it's because they want to act out stereotypes for their own amusement. And sometimes it's just because they want an avatar that looks different than how they look in, um, in their actual lives. So I would put that one as eight out of 10. Nine, I would say, um, is um, education the educational aspect of Second Life. People are coming into Second Life to teach different things. They're teaching foreign languages. They're teaching about health. They're teaching um, about yoga. There's a lot of meditation going on at Sims. Um, and there's a lot of people who teach things um, away from the keyboard that are now coming into Second Life to teach them. Um, and so I would probably put that as nine out of 10 as one of the big um, trends or um or cultures if you will and um, then number 10 i would kind it's kind of broad 10 of 10 would be um the arts and um there are many artists here um uh, who share um their craft in second life um and there are a lot of authors and poets and all of that and so i would definitely put that as number 10. so i'm interested in hearing your list of the top 10 in second life um, that may help people who are coming into second life who are not familiar with it and would like to hear from those of you who have been in second life um, for a few years so please feel free to add in the comment section and i will review your comments if you add any and i will be sure to to post them as long as they're constructive. Thank you for visiting Lisa's Lair and I hope that you'll come back and view other videos.